This is the truth of the case. Let's look into this case one more time, starting right from the beginning. During midnight, Cherry was clogging the toilet to initiate her plan of poisoning someone. Cherry intentionally clogged the toilet by throwing a large amount of paper towels into not only both the cafeteria's toilet, but also her own, in order to make an excuse for using Isa's toilet later. While doing so, she encountered Kyo and had a talk with him, who happened to be wandering late at night for some unknown reasons. Cherry was asking which poison is the most lethal and quick to kill. Kyo then instructed her to take arsenic and dimercaprol as an antidote should things ever go wrong. Meanwhile, trying to find something in the cafeteria to drink because she was thirsty, Myoko saw Kyo walking around at that time. She was only able to see an eavesdropped Kyo since his voice was loud while Cherry's voice was meek and low, presumably to keep the volume down, making her unable to recognize that voice was in fact Cherry's. Cherry then made a bottle of vanilla syrup drugged with arsenic she got from the nearby chemistry lab, so the next random person pouring it into their coffee will be killed. After a short while, she asked Isa to borrow her bathroom because Cherry's own bathroom was intentionally clocked by herself at 12.30 a.m. Isa tried to go fix the clock toilet for her. Cherry then threw the bottle of arsenic to the trash can while alone, breaking it into pieces. All of this is to frame Isa because Cherry had become good friends with Isa to take advantage of her trust in Cherry. When morning came, everyone came to the dining room to eat their breakfast served by Cherry. Aisa, Chie, Nonoka, Tatsumasa, the culprit and I got there first. Cherry poured her own cup and left it there for it to cool down, while everyone else drank it normally without the syrup. Everyone began the discussion about sealing the lab seiscape proposed. While discussing, Cherry finally sat down and ate her breakfast. Then she told the culprit to pour in any syrup because she was too far away. Knowingly poured in the poison vanilla syrup, then gave it back to her. The culprit unintentionally killed her through his kindness. Cherry completely forgot about which syrup contained the poison due to her short memories, basically digging her own grave and ruined the plan Kyo suggested for her. Her short-term memory is what killed herself. An hour after drinking coffee with arsenic, her symptoms began to rise as she coughed up blood in extreme pain. Trying to get the chemistry lab that is close to the cafeteria while spilling out blood, she vomited out blood and took her last painful breath right when she mustered her remaining strength she has left to pull out the antidote Chimercaprol, dropping the glass bottle and shattered it into pieces, as well as smearing the cabinets with her own blood. Finally, Isa, the culprit and I were on our way to lock the chemistry lab, and we found a long blood trail that leads to Cherry's bloody, deteriorated corpse lying inside the lab. Contrary to popular opinion, Kyo had very little involvement in this murder case, despite having very suspicious behaviors before this case and during this class trial. This case would have been solved much more quickly and much less complicated if he was willing to be much more cooperative at the first place. Even if the culprit didn't kill Cherry intentionally, they insist on laying down their own life just to save us all in hopes that Monokuma sees the wolf as the one dealing the final blow to the victim. And in this case, handing over the poison coffee to Cherry. Is this what you want? Is this what you have decided? Sacrificing your life just for our survival? Hagane Shigeru, the ultimate fencer, 